I find it obscene, incredible to, to watch a U.S. government which for years has chastised the entire world for doing business with terrorists, with nations that back terror, suddenly doing things that if Jimmy Carter would have done them, he indeed would have been impeached, if not lynched, by Ronald Reagan. Terrorism knows only one answer, and that is counter-terror. We are living in the Middle East, not the Middle West. In the Middle West, perhaps, you can sit down over coffee and cake and deal with issues because people here are basically decent. In the Middle East, you are dealing with a mentality which is, total, which is totally different. You may call Shiites here madmen and other, other names. One man's fanatic is, 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 is the other person's believer. And that's what we are dealing with. And they understand strength and not weakness. And if, and if you show goodness, you are in good, you are weak. And if you are weak, you are dead. And if this country wants to ensure that bombs will not be going off in, in supermarkets here, in Washington, in New York, in Chicago, then understand that you have to root out that terror with ruthlessness. Because as the rabbis say, he who has mercy upon the cruel will someday be cruel unto the merciful. And if we have a perverted concept of ethics, we will cause the deaths of innocent people in this country and in other countries of the world. In short, it's not only Israel, it's the West, the free world which is in a struggle against people who want to impose upon that world a view, a regime which would plunge that world into a nightmare. You want to win, you fight a war. If you don't want to win, you don't fight a war. But you don't fight and not fight that at the same time. With God's help, the, the pledge, the covenant to Abraham will be. With God's help, we will be in power in Israel within this coming decade. And with God's help, this individual will be joined by many others who may gnash their teeth, but the Jews will be home in Jerusalem. Thank you.